Hello everybody and welcome to Soundcastle's Christmas celebration of the People's Music Collective and the Rosen Crown Singers. My name's Hannah. My name's Gail and we are both musicians and directors of Soundcastle, which is a community arts organisation that works with groups to create new music. And the whole point of this evening is to celebrate both of these wonderful groups who against all odds came together on Zoom during the lockdown to continue creating and continue making some fabulous work. Now the People's Music Collective are based in Worthing um, and usually we would all come together at Worthing Museum to create music, play instruments, sing in person. Obviously that wasn't possible with social distancing. So instead we would come together on Zoom and week by week record our ideas into our phones, send them in, layer them up and we've managed to create some great new works from this. And I've had been very lucky to be working with both the People's Music Collective with Hannah and also the Rose and Crown Singers um, which is a choir in Walthamstow in London, which is my home, my home area. The Rose and Crown Singers originally formed as a group of friends wanting to sing songs in the pub and have grown this beautiful choir that come together. And we used to come together once a week in the pub on a Wednesday evening for two hours to have a big sing. And since March, we have found our way onto Zoom. They've taught me a lot about how to manage on this, in this new Zoom land that we live in together. And um, we've also learned how to record our parts and so that we can still put our voices together and generate new songs and connect um, across this, across the internet and find our way together. So we have two songs this evening, one which we've written, which is a kind of first um, for me with the Rose and Crown, which is exciting. And also a final Christmas uh, 16th century ditty to send us all off in a festive spirit. Um, yeah. And I think that's a really important point that you made about the recording actually because working on zoom because of the time lag we can't sing in time together we can't play in time together so we had to find a whole new way of making music um, and because we were recording everything you know we weren't in a professional recording studio this is just on everyone's phones what you're about to hear so this is all really really homemade and i think is an incredible example of the perseverance the determination to remain creative um, and the resilience of these two groups during this time. And part of that has been adapting to new formats. So here we are doing a YouTube premiere, um, which is a new format maybe for you, maybe for lots of people. It's something we've had to learn uh, at Soundcastle how this works. So the format of this evening will be, there are four videos that we're going to see, two from the People's Music Collective and two from the Rose and Crown Singers. And each time we'll have a short introduction from a member of that group. And we'll also get a lovely cameo from Fernando Machado, who's another facilitator who's been working with the People's Music Collective. Um, as it goes through, you can sign into YouTube and there's a live chat somewhere um, on the screen in whichever direction it is. And you can sign in and show your appreciation for the music that you're enjoying, say what you love. We want to keep it a really positive, supportive space. We will be moderating it to look after it in that way. Friends and family, everyone, if you see things you love, please do share it. Imagine we were a live audience. If you feel like giving some applause, give us some chat. Make sure it's there so we can really show um, how much we appreciate the space that's coming with us. We are so incredibly excited to share these new pieces of music with you this evening and we hope you all have a fabulous time absorbing this new work. Um, we're now delighted to hand over to Loz from the People's Music Collective who's going to introduce our first number. Over to you Loz. Hello everyone, I'm Loz from the People's Music Collective, a band that I've been in on and off for the last five years. Um, and we're a group of people from different varying backgrounds, different age groups, but we've come together through mental health. Um, I suffer with anxiety and depression. Um, obviously, the other members in the group have got varying mental health issues, but we've come together um, through our love of music and the passion we have for making music and um, how it makes you feel, which is very positive and um, yeah, great. And uh, I, I just love it. I look forward to each week when we get together, although it's been a Zoom thing. Um, prior to that, we used to meet in the Worthing Museum because that's where we're based. Um, but it's it's brilliant and it just gets better and better. And um, we've uh, we wrote a song in the first lockdown 
and it's sort of how we are all feeling which was obviously we're all feeling hopeful but obviously we're all feeling a bit low as well and this song reflects um, all of those sort of feelings of of hope and um, you know when you're feeling a bit low or down and you know how are things going to get better but ultimately it is a positive song um, and and here is the song and it's called Wabi Sabi
So I am going to introduce Word Association, which I made with the Rosencrantz singers, I think starting in maybe April. Um, anyway, at the beginning of the first lockdown, we moved everything online, having never worked online before. And I asked the choir if anyone had any words or something we could use to make some more rounds or something that we could make um, while working on Zoom sort of something that's somehow specific to that, that was new and different rather than just sort of almost, rather than dwelling on the um, the material that we normally used in our sessions. So uh, Brandon Robshaw, who is in the choir, a uh, very multi-talented, also a poet, um, produced this word association and it's exactly what it says. It starts with the word sun and it goes through a kind of dive, delve into a, the dark, depth of the human condition and kind of comes out the other side and it ends with sun as well so it goes to this cycle of kind of life and a day and um, being human and it was just really intriguing and the words had an amazing rhythm so I arranged it into a round and we gradually built on more and more parts into the song that you will hear shortly um, and then I asked the choir to find the words I think there's 55 words altogether. I asked the choir if they had any images that would support the words and um, yeah we hit, there was loads of pictures we came together and we built this film. It was a totally new experience for me as a filmmaker because that's not uh, my speciality at all so it was really an amazing challenge that came out of um, yeah out of lockdown everything that came with it. Um, it definitely is a song that has some darkness in it so it does go through death and we have some um, some images to go with that, talking a bit about um, coffins and graves. Um, but it's also because it is this cycle in this flow, it, to me it feels like there was something that was really relevant about this poem when we did it together, that it, it does go through the dark, but it always comes out the other side and we get back to the sun and it goes round and round and round, um, which felt also very hopeful in the midst of it. So yeah, just be aware that um, there's lots to see and um, yeah, it takes you through the whole the whole range of emotions all together. And we recorded it as um, as we've been doing in this in this series with everyone at home singing into their phones and their tablets, then sending the recordings and we put them together. And so just really grateful that our voices could meet and come together and make this beautiful sound. So yeah, here you have it, word association.
My name is Fernando Machado and I'm one of the facilitators for People's Music Collective and I'm here today with Jeremy, one of the members of the group. Hi Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm a lifetime member of the PMC. Amazing. And uh, can you tell what did I, what does that mean? How long is a lifetime? Well, I think when I started it was a group of people getting together and the idea was to try and make some music. And that has developed over the past few years into a group of, group of people that have formed a band and we're now making brilliant music and we're taking that forward. Nice. And we are here, Jeremy and I are here to present this piece called Reflections, which is a video and music uh, piece. Can you tell us a little bit more about it, Jeremy? Yeah, so this is kind of an audio-visual experiment reflecting our lockdown lives. So for me, it was really good to contribute something from what was quite a restrictive life. And it was really good to collaborate with others. And it was also really good to make some music. I love playing guitar, so it was great to, to do that and for that to develop into something else with other people's musical contributions. Amazing. Reflections then. Reflections.
like to welcome Sue from the Rose and Crown Singers to introduce the next video. Um, Sue, could you tell us a bit about the song and because you brought it to the choir and what it what it meant for you and why it was a why it became a Rose and Crown or has become a Rose and Crown song? Well I was I was just sort of looking to see if we could find a new song that we could add as part of our Christmas repertoire for the carols really at the Rose and Crown and I was looking for a sort of a secular winter song rather than anything particularly carolly um, and I came across the Boar's Head Carol and I thought it would suit our rowdy choir <laughs> vibe really um, and it also reminded me a little bit of, of All the Birds which is another song that we really like to sing um, when I started to look at the sort of the history of the song, um, I discovered that it was written in the early 1500s, I think. Um, and allegedly, the story behind it is that there was a, a young scholar from Queen's College, Oxford, who was taking a walk in the forest near Oxford, whilst having his Aristotle with him, which of course everybody does. Obviously. Um, yeah. and. Um, he was attacked by this passing wild boar and the only defence he had with him was his book of Aristotle which he subsequently rammed down the, the boar's <laughs> throat <laughs> thus killing it um, and it seems that following on from that so story has it they then took it back into the college and celebrated with a big feast at which the boar's head was carried in on a platter um, as a big procession. And um, I gather it's a tradition that's carried on in various places now. I would yes. like to add that we don't normally process with a boar's head when we're singing it in the pub. <laughs> yeah, it definitely uh, feels appropriate in its rowdiness and the song and the tune and the way it goes for at Christmas, we'd normally get together and have a big sing along in the pub with lots of um, cheers and spirits and get together. So it feels like the right thing, uh, definitely for the choir. Thank you so much for that. So um, okay. here we go. Here's the carol um, in Waltham Forest. So maybe not quite the same forest, but a forest. <laughs> and um, yeah, here is the Boar's Head Carol.
which last bedecked with a gay garland, let us severe a candy call, coupled up with a feral, Braden's loudest stormy roll, coupled up with a feral, Braden's loudest stormy Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you to the People's Music Collective and the Rose and Kind of Singers. It's been so wonderful to bring your work together here this evening. And thank you to everyone who's joined us to celebrate all the hard work behind it. We have certainly had a fabulous evening here with you all. Um, the YouTube chat is going to close in a few minutes time. So please do get all of your messages of support up there now for everyone. It's wonderful for them to hear from an active audience. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for the wonderful music and Gail and I would love to wish you all Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!